under suede, remember that suede has a nap, which means that like velvet, it absorbs light. So we will have no strong highlights. So I go ahead and add a base tone that is pretty much solid. And then my Prisma pencil works really well to start adding a second tone. I'm going to start creating the texture that is an important part of a suede rendering. Of course, as always, I'm using the side of my Prisma for rendering. And I'm not pushing very hard. I keep a nice light touch. stronger shadow because then I'm going to render over it to blend everything together. So I'll start out with more contrast. Inside of a lapel, of course, rolls and is quite dark. And the inside of an arm as well. See how the shadow defines the detail. Using a light Prisma pencil to create a blended highlight and then the darker one to blend that in and create more texture. Get a sense of that nap. I want everything to blend together. Sway does not have strong contrast, it's all quite blended. Step back from your work, see how it's looking, and then add a little bit more if you need it. And you always pull out your details. If you're rendering, hide your details, then you've defeated your purpose. dark, whatever is needed. The inside of my sleeve is dark. Shadows pull my pocket out. See, I have a contrast collar. aspect of a jacket, but you have to draw it precisely. Add my binding on my collar. Make sure it's separate from the jacket. And here our Prisma is creating my stitching. And if this is too white, I can always go back over it with a little bit of marker. Beginning of my plaid, and you can see I've already drawn in the basic lines. And I use contrasting shades going in opposite directions. And then my Prisma pencil is great for creating line. You see, I keep it loose so it feels soft. pull out those final details. Again, I can go over that with a different color of marker if it's too bright. And blend 
blending in any highlights. We don't want a strong highlight on suede. As you can see, I've already laid in most of my first coat of red. Final is the most shiny material, and therefore the shine is pretty much just a white, almost lightning-shaped shine. And now I'm adding a bit of the softer reflected shine with my side of my Prisma pencil. And then using the black Prisma pencil to pull out the details. sure that you define each button, every seam, make your collar look important, add stitching. It's not a lot of detail to the actual rendering, but you want to make sure that your details don't get lost in the strong color. Of course we want to separate the skirt from the legs and the jacket from the skirt. Add a bit of shadow underneath. I'm going to use my Tombow brush pen to do a nice straight black hair. And of course, as always, I'm rendering in the direction that the hair is going, making a nice spiky hairdo. And then black vinyl boots, which also have that kind of lightning highlight. And the vinyl will have some darks. I'm adding that with the side of my Prisma pencil. 